All right. <clears throat> I am live. Actually, it's two minutes before eight, but, uh, Hold on here. Trying to get some folks. Let's see, we have no viewers yet. Hey, Emily, you made it. That's awesome. <laughs> made it too. Awesome. <laughs> That's great. Glad to see you guys. Um, I'm actually going to, um, um, we're waiting for Kamari um, <clears throat> and maybe just a couple other folks to join us here. How are you guys doing? Did you have a good day today? And it was warm here. Hey, and there's John Sconey. <laughs> Good to see you, John Sconey. <laughs> um, up on my easel, you can see is the um, the rabbit that I started last week. I actually had started it. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, yeah, it was hot. Yeah, it was a hot day. Yeah. Hi, John. Um, it was really humid here. It wasn't so much that it was so hot, but it was really, it was really humid. Hey, there we go. There's Kamari. <laughs> Good to see you. And I'm going to go ahead, Kamari. I'm going to join you. I'm going to ask you to go join with us here. And let's see. Oh. You gotta, you gotta turn your, turn your phone the other like way. This? Yeah, yeah. Oh. There you go. Yeah, so it has to be vertical. Yeah, it has to be vertical. Otherwise, we're gonna see you, see the, see you sideways. Oh, okay. All right. Just, just a little. This is just a little hard to deal with. <laughs> All right. Hang on one sec. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Yeah. No. No problem. Take your All right, time. One sec. Hi, Madeline. Good to see you. Yes, this show is all about technical difficulties. We Every week, we have a new technical difficulty that we try to deal with. So this is artists learning how to use technology. <laughs> I hope I got it right. I was trying to see if there was a way I could do it um, vertically, but um, I guess that's not possible. Yeah, it as far as I can tell, it's not. Can you see me? Yeah. Okay. I'm just making sure. Yeah. Can you see yeah. me? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. That's great. So, um, so Kamari, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, let's see. I'm, I'm a twin. I, I live in Havity Grace. Um, I, um, during the day, I work for... Uh, I work for Comcast during the day. I, I work in the uh, corporate world. Um, and oh, okay. One of my hobbies. And then, uh, you know, usually at night, um, I'm either like going kayaking or uh, just chilling out around the area because I live in Havity Grace. So it's a lot of nature out here. Uh, mm -hmm. So, and, and usually I'm, I'm always contemplating my next piece of art as well. So, like, if I'm if I'm finishing one, I'm usually contemplating the next one before I'm actually finished one of them. Sorry. Having a little trouble here. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so about how many paintings do you get to make then? Um, I usually try to... 
I usually try to do a uh, complete one every week or so, every week or two, because it kind of. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Um, because the one I don't know if you can see the 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 Buddha. Like I finished that one probably like uh, maybe like four or five days ago. And great. Um, the one here I finished probably a week or two, a week and a half before that. One. Yeah, that was a couple of weeks ago, I think, because I remember seeing when you posted it. But um, yeah, I mean, you 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 have a very regular practice for someone who has a regular job. <laughs> yeah, um, it's intentional because some of the really um, developed artists that I've, I've I've watched some of them paint and um, literally, you know, they would say that you have to spend a lot of time at it in order to get comfortable. And I noticed I got to a point where I started feeling like I was using a pencil, you know, I, I felt that comfortable. And I was like, I knew that I was kind of getting, arriving, you know, with my, my, my skill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now you did go to Micah though, is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when I went to Micah, um, I actually didn't go for painting. I actually wanted to go for painting, um, but during that time, Graphic design had become really big in the early 2000s. So they pushed me in that direction. Um, so I went in that direction and then worked for a few years in that field, but I didn't really like it. It's a lot, you know, a lot different, mm. you know, computer area. And um, I don't knock it. I mean, it still takes some talent, but it's just a lot different. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't do any, you don't do graphic design anymore? Only if, only for myself. Like I still like um, if I have to create a logo. Like I've created a couple of logos, and I still know how to use the programs well. But um, I mean, I'm a, I'm a certified design graphic designer, but I just I don't use it for a living. Yeah, yeah. I know some people. It's when they. I, I can hear my my voice coming back on you. So I don't know. Can you understand? Yeah, me? I don't hear you coming back. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, so anyway, some artists really enjoy just focusing on their art and not having to worry about that being their job. So, you know, but others, like my daughter is a computer animator, so some people do both of them together. I'm a teacher. I teach art, so I kind of do both of them together. But I know um, one person is asking you about how long have you been painting? Um, probably only really about... Two years. Oh, wow. Yeah, only about two years. I, um, <laughs> yeah, I actually have a painting I did about two years ago, and I looked at it, like, recently, and I was like, I could just see how much I had grown. But, yeah, um, really only two years, because um, when I first getting ready to go to school, I was more of a, an illustrator. I did a lot of pen and ink, so I wanted to learn. Right. Paint, but I never got really to the chance other than just playing with it at, you know, at home. But, um, so yeah, recently I was when, within the last two years is when I really started to, um, get, you know, towards it and learn it. Nice. Yeah. Well, you, it doesn't look like you've only been doing it for two years. You can see that the other things that you've learned in art are kind of coming through right. in your paintings. Yeah. And, uh, Mike wants to see your work close up and, um, I want to say hello to Gina. She's my daughter. Hi, Gina. Um, and uh, yeah, okay, tell us, we can see the one with the exploding head. Tell us first about that one. Do you mind? That one is just so cool. Am I, John says you, he's glad you've started painting. I am too. But I really do enjoy your Thank work. You. Um, well, that one I had, um, basically, I've been kind of doing this... Uh, this series with um, like a mild um, coronavirus type of field, um, just without being too um, obvious, I, I do slip mm -hmm. stuff in there. Um, uh -huh. Like there's actually some small, very small looking coronaviruses in the- um, can, you, can you bring the painting to yeah. the phone? Mm -hmm. There you go. 
Okay, cool. Oh, and there, like over there, is that one of the coronaviruses? Here and um, there's like a few up here. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, Mike says it's really powerful. And it is. And Emily says she loves it. Thank you. Yeah, I made another one. Uh, but I already sold that one. Um, that one was called, like, Mind Blown. And it had, um, I don't know if you, you, I think you did see it because it was on the. I, I did. The guy's holding a book. But if you see on the book, it says Rona. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So actually, my, the next one that I have planned is on deck. So you can kind of see, like, um, like if this one has nothing on it other than um, I have sketched out. Oh, okay. The background. And then what I do is, um, this will probably answer one of the questions that you're going to ask later about the technique and challenge. Um, so I like to... I like to um, Sketch out some of my stuff on the canvas. I used mm -hmm. to do in the beginning, I used to always use the uh, paint marker. But the paint marker is unforgiving, and sometimes how the ink comes out. You got to push right. it, and then if you make a mistake, it's 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 hard to you know to cover it up. But I use the pastel um, and charcoal pencils now, and they go on so lightly that I can just sketch. You know what? I, yeah, it makes it a lot easier. Uh huh. <laughs> Mike is asking, "Are you using acrylics?" Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. I use a yeah, mostly mostly acrylics. Um, but when I use the um explosive part, I use I mix. It's a mixture that I put together. That's um, it's acrylic paint, um, some silicone, water, and a little bit of glue to change the uh the texture of it okay, okay. Yeah. is that like the three-dimensional ones that you do no that's actually what i use on that oh, oh okay so you're pouring you're like almost splashing it on there a little bit you're kind of pouring it yeah i use um like squirt bottles and I, i'll squirt it out and then oh and then i try to keep them from interacting unless i i use a palette knife and then i Take the palette knife and I then I start to control it. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. So you're working flat then. You're not you're not working on an easel. You're working on it flat. Um, no, in the beginning I'm working on an easel. Like so, okay. on the beginning part when I'm painting the suit and so forth or whatever, I'm working right. on the easel. And then at the end, the last stage is strict. Um, it's flat. <laughs> okay. okay yeah um so did you want to share what was on your easel right now um yeah well actually this this is what's on it right now and I, I don't know if you mm -hmm. see what's on here because it's still in white but um can you see any of at all i can see it looks like there's a um, he has a face mask on yes like a gas yes. mask Yes, and um, so this one I'm kind of uh, going in a little bit different direction than the Buddha one. <laughs> I like the mm -hmm. so this yeah. This one's more or less um, it's a, it's you know it's like the Rona era going back to that, and it's uh, so it's the mask, and then he actually has like two bottles of uh, hand. It's going to be sanitizer that will be, okay. That will be the the paint. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So do you, do you do a lot of things that have like a political meaning to them or just occasionally, just whatever you think of? Yeah, um, I usually try to stay away from anything that pisses people off. I try to always be somewhere in the middle. I want to be, you know, be fun, happy. You know what I mean? Like I'm not, um, so it's like, that's why I'm kind of like, uh, like with this, with the sanitizer, it's kind of like, you know, this is what 2020 is. That's, that's going to be the name of the painting actually is 2020. 2020. Yeah, that's good. So, so really that's, it's, it's kind of representation of 
you know, where we are now. It's like the mask, the sanitizer, you know, and yep. the backup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree with I, I like that. I like how you're um, you're able to kind of take what's what's going on, but you're not like I don't know. Yeah, like Emily said it comic relief in painting, you know, like you're it's almost like you're doing a political cartoon a little bit. Like you're bringing some humor, but you're also making people aware of what's going on. Right. And uh my and John says capturing the memories. <laughs> Alright, there's enough things that make people frown nowadays. I mean, you know, you go on the internet and you know, you know, you see stuff all the time. So I'm always about you know, I like the positive uh, you know, the positive energy and just have fun with it and you know, to connect that way. Yeah, yeah. Um how about the Buddha painting? You wanna show us that one a little bit? Sure. Talk about that. Hey, your paintings are pretty big. Yeah, this is a 36 by 36. Um, so, um, so with this one, I um, I don't know. I always kind of like the way the calm of a Buddha. I'm not Buddhist or anything like that, but um, I think after I did the the one with the mind blown, and I wanted to kind of shift gears and tone something back down and um and with this one i kind of i used the same like a, a technique with the the uh palette knife but i did it a little bit different it's like obviously it's not as many colors um mm -hmm. and then one of the challenges with gold is if you mix it with um you know if you mix it with water or you mix it with glue what i was finding to that is it dilutes it to a point where it did not look like gold. So I had to use a very little bit of water. Like I had to use it, really use more of a concentrated gold paint on it. Yeah, because the gold paint has a different consistency yeah. than the other, because it has a little bit of metallic right. in it. It's a little harder to work with. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, yeah I like it. It's a nice, a really good contrast that you had like the exploding brain and then you had like the calm brain. And I just thought I was going to ask you whether you're Buddhist or not. And I, I like how you, you know, you take an image because it has a meaning, even though it's not particularly your belief or anything. And I think as artists, we can do that. Like we can take things from different places and use them to say what we want to say. Right. And I felt like with, you know, some, some paintings, like I don't do them necessarily. They're not always like for me, like it's not always something that is like, I always feel like sometimes it's for someone else. Like I feel like sometimes when I paint something, it's literally for someone else who is supposed to come get it from me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I agree with that. I sometimes you do something in a painting and you're like why did I even do that and then that person comes who loves right. it and they're like you did the thing I want awesome you know I I'm sure you've seen it already but um kind of like this one like this one was uh you know with the the lady and the, the dress uh mm -hmm. I kind of had that in mind with that one it was like I felt like it was something I was doing for you know, for somebody else. Mm. Emily, likes Emily likes that one too. Emily likes all your work. Thank you. <laughs> Emily, you're the best. That Emily is the greatest art critic because she loves everything. She's so great. She's. You want Emily to follow you because she'll 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 like build you up every day. She builds me up when I post things. She's always writing really nice things, and then she takes really cool pictures too. She says she's a photographer. And there's Becca. Good to see you, Becca and Diego. I don't know Diego. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, let's see. Did we want to? Did you talk about a challenge? Did you want to talk about challenges at all? Um, well, I guess another challenge, um, it's sometimes, I guess, mapping out the, you know, the proportionate, the proportions of the artwork and making sure 
it's going to fit and not, you know, in the end, you don't, you don't, you want to have an idea and, and then it doesn't fit onto the, the canvas the way uh, you might have visioned it. Um, so that's something that um, I didn't used to do in the beginning. I would kind of get an idea and then I would just start painting and then I'd be like, wait a minute, I'm running out of room, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now I really um, try to make sure I hone in on that before I even um, really begin. I try to make sure I map out you know, how f does the paint have enough room to flow if I'm going to, uh, you know, the abstract, um, you know, part at the end. So that's something that, uh, you know, is a challenge, but, but, I, but I've learned a way around it to work with. Yeah, because when you're doing that pouring, you have to kind of plan where it's going to go. Right. Even though there's always some of it is going to, flow in different ways you still have to give yourself the space but uh yeah i i think composition is so key in painting yeah i love that right i don't know if people are hearing my my voice coming through yours it's, i know i'm hearing myself it's kind of choppy no it's clear for me okay good yeah. hi hi kim kim is Kim's Emily's friend, actually Emily Ann and Kim and I are all friends. So um, the bunny rabbit, the reason I put this bunny rabbit up right now is because we were talking about challenges and this painting had a totally different composition this morning. Oh, really? I, and I didn't like it. I was like this because it was just bunny and he was like sitting in the middle of the grass and it was too boring there was nothing interesting happening and so i had to think about like what is this about this rabbit that i really love and i'm like i love the face like i want to focus on the structure of the face i've been doing this is like my second wild rabbit that i've been doing and they have the most amazing face structures it's so much more complex than you would think like to me it's just a rabbit you know how complex is a rabbit but they're super complex and it's almost like a wild rabbit is there's you can see more of the detail of the structure than a, a domesticated cat, rabbit like i had only done domesticated ones before and they're just like fluff they were actually easier but when i did when i did the first wild rabbit i was like there's a lot to do in this wild rabbit so that's so that's why I focused like I changed right. it up and I focused on that. I would like to see the and, uh, picture. <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> it looks good. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, it's not quite done, but uh, but I'm happy. I'm like happy with the composition of it. So that's right. and uh, Mike was saying that he remembers my last rabbit's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mike was asking about influences on your art. What are some things that influence your art? Um, well, um, the, the climate of the world, what's going on in the world, and then yeah, um, also the, the, the climate around me, because I like to do, um, you know, the, I also have the, the beach art that I, you know, I do too, so which is a completely, um, it's really... I really started off doing that the majority. Um, and then when it would get cold, I would do more acrylic painting. Um, just because I guess it felt, it felt uh, winter was long and then it was just like, I felt like I could deep dive into it more. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, um, so definitely. You talk about other artists. Are there any other artists that uh, you particularly enjoy? Like, um, have you had an Alexander? Um, I think it's M Majeras. He's in Miami. Okay. Um, but he's very well known um, artist with a really um, explosive color and um, shape. He's also like he does sculpting too. Um, so he's very uh, a very uh, versatile artist because. Um, cause, you know, sometimes I'll do these amazing paintings and then he'll start to chalk and like, you know, pastel art and, um, but he's very, he's very well known in Miami. It's Alexander, um, and I believe his last name is spelled M-U, 
J, I think it's E R S. But if you type in that and you type in my, I'll look it up. I'll look him up. I think I've heard of him before, but I don't, I just don't, I can't picture it off the top of my head. Yeah. So he's a contemporary artist then down in Miami. Yeah. Cool. That's awesome. And there was another artist that I was, um, I forgot his name, but his name was Mike, uh, Michael. I have to look it up. Um, but I bought one of his, his video, well, actually two of his videos. Um, I, I liked how he would blend, blend colors. Uh, mm -hmm. And he seemed to be really good at transitioning colors. So <laughs> you, you you were frozen for me. <laughs> ah, too funny. So um yeah, if you missed that last part, I was saying that the, I I think his name is Mike. Uh, I have to look it up, but it's like Mike L with an L. But I okay. Um, I mean, I can grab it real quick. I have a DVD. Um, the only thing is, uh, or it doesn't no big deal <laughs> but um but basically in his videos he explains how you know he would use certain techniques to transition his colors so nice nice i mean you're welcome to share it i mean other artists might be interested in learning okay it maybe just one about 30 seconds okay so Emily, you you're ask, Emily's asking, what is my favorite color? And then we'll ask Kamari, but my favorite color is orange, which is kind of funny because you probably won't see me painting it a whole lot, but I just love it. I just love orange. And sometimes I put it as the background color of things and then paint on top of it. So Kamari, what's your favorite color? One of the one of the listeners is asking. Oh, blue, definitely blue. Blue. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. Because you have a lot of blue in your paintings. Yep. These, but even more so, all those like your watery ones. Oh yeah. You have all those like watery ones. Oh yeah. yeah. And Emily's is green, which oh yeah, it's not too surprising. Emily loves the outdoors. Oh, do you paint Emily, or you take pictures? <laughs> Emily takes photographs, okay. and my my friend Kim says Syracuse. Yes, I love orange, but I loved it before I went to Syracuse. <laughs> so, um, yeah, his name's Michael Michael Lang. Michael Lang. Okay, fundamentals of painting. Yeah, cool. see, I bought two of his DVDs, and uh, they made a difference. Good. Yeah. Yeah, it's, you know, some people are really good at teaching different techniques. Um, I teach art, but I don't actually teach people how to paint just like I do, partly because I have a hard time describing how I do what I do. I, I don't know about you, but when I'm in the process, it's like, like all the rules get taken out sometimes. Right. All those rules that I teach my students, I like throw them out and try, try it again. And like I did with this this rabbit painting. Right. This was one of those ones where I just, you know, I I had a different painting underneath it, and I was just like, <laughs> you know, like I, I really got into just slapping some stuff on there, and then right. and then I calmed down. You know, sometimes there's like crazy. Yeah, sometimes. And then you calm down. The rules get thrown out. Um, I know. <laughs> Like, uh, <laughs> like sometimes I used to get anxious when I would start um, a new painting, but I didn't like the way you know, the beginning layers wouldn't, it wouldn't be good looking the way, so it would make me anxious. Yeah. But then you've learned that you can keep going, right? Right. I learned that it's, it's a layering, layer process, so I don't feel that way anymore. It really is, particularly in acrylic. I mean, all I think all painting is best when it has lots of lay layers, but particularly acrylic. It's like if you only put a first layer on, it just, 
<laughs> this doesn't look that good. <laughs> it's kind of crappy. Oh, that looks good. Is that another one? <laughs> and she's, he's a, here's another bunny. This one is, this one I just did a little bit earlier. The, well, both of these I worked on today, but this one I was working on just a little bit this afternoon. And I wanted to see if I could show you. I don't think I can. There's actually red like underneath right in here a little hard to see yeah it's i can't really show it on the video but there was like orangey red underneath the green and i i use that to kind of help build up the surface and like make it really pop in a way so that this this bunny's got lots of layers of color he's got lots of purple and stuff in here so yeah i'm i'm having funny fun with my bunnies <laughs> And can you read the comments, Mary? Um. Yes, yes. Some of them, I've, yeah, I can see them. Yes. Okay, because like one one person says, um, "I love you." They love the painting. Uh, my sketches scare me, but the paint gives them life. And then Laura just joined. Laura, who's also part of the Hartford Artists Association. I, I remember Laura. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Laura's going to join me next oh, week. Really? Cool. Yeah. I saw some of her, um, I think she did butterfly and flowers recently. That's, yeah. yeah. She's really good at those. Yeah. She has a really distinctive technique where she has very, you know, they're a little flatter, but they have really great colors. She chooses, her color choices are so wonderful. She might that. have some artwork hanging out at uh, Independent independent brewing company for for months to months now like me right <laughs> yes yeah me too i got one i think i have one there too <laughs> no, someday that restaurant will open back up and we can get our paintings back <laughs> nobody was or maybe someone will buy them and then we don't have to take them back right <laughs> so do you have um do you have any other galleries where you have your work hanging? Um, I have a couple pieces at the uh, uh, Concord Coffee House in Havity Grace. I have like, okay. I probably have like seven seven pieces in there. And, oh, nice. Um, offhand, um, not sure if I have it anywhere else. Um, not right now. No. Well, at this point, it's better for them not to be anywhere. Offered to, right, <laughs> I was offered recently about um, two weeks ago, but I didn't want to do it because of the situation. And I was just kind of like, well, no one's coming in the place right now. So, yeah. <laughs> so we'll see. But Laura was saying she loved your work, and I do too. Oh, thanks, Laura. <laughs> hey, um, Kamari, what is the best way for people to follow you? Um, right on this page, because I have more than one, but this one's the best one. Um, I, I, I feel to follow me is uh, Liquid Art Life. Okay, so it's Liquid Art Life. Let me write it in the comments yeah. so people can see it. It's... At um, like page two, art life. Oops. So at liquid art life, and that's the same thing on Facebook, right? Yeah. right? So you have it on Facebook, and you have it on Instagram, right. and um, I. I is there any other place you want people to be looking for you? Um, really, there. Those are the best best places. Um, I mean, I always consistently will, you know, post whatever I have with something news on there. Cool. Yeah, you have two new followers. Uh, uh, Kim and Emily said they both will be following right, cool. you. So Thank that'd you. be good. That's be good. Yeah, because you put new work up pretty re regularly. You you post pretty regularly. So. Yeah, I try to. Uh, yeah that's great that's awesome well we have been actually on for half an hour can you believe it oh wow. 
<laughs> that was quick. But before we go, let's ask people if they have any more questions for you or me. Um, we'd love to answer your questions if you if you have any. <laughs> um, why is it called Liquid Art Life? Um, really, because I feel like it's liquid, it's art, and it's life. So, because <laughs> it starts off with the liquid, <laughs> it's art, and then it's, you know, it's life. I feel like they all kind of <laughs> go together. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It, it definitely makes sense. I just know because I had a name for my art business and I actually got rid of my art name because I had to keep explaining it to people that it was me. Like they'd say, oh, who is this Truth Branch art person? I said, it's me. And they're like, but who else? I'm like, no, it's just me. And, and that's what you are. It's like liquid art life is you. Right. Right? Kamari Smith, it's you. So. Also, I gotta say that the the um the beach it is a cool name i mean i love the name beach theme stuff is really where it was derived from ah it's, it's like liquid art and it's, it's like it's life so it had like a mm -hmm. feel to it yeah so is that more is that resin yeah this is resin as well okay yeah those are nice too <laughs> thank you really nice <laughs> Does anyone else have any comments or uh, questions for us? Let's see. I think we got all the questions. Mike says, excellent. Emily thinks it's a cool name. I agree with her. Let's see. Any more questions? Emily says she wants to be at the beach right now. Thanks. There's Leona. Kim likes the beach stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I started at. And I have a lot of stuff like this still. I mm -hmm. usually sell them at the festivals, but but unfortunately they're they're you know not they happen right now, so I may have to sell them online. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you can do you know, you can sell through Facebook and Instagram too. Yeah. You know, people know if people know about right. you. So um you know, if people watch this video and they love your stuff and they think they know somebody, they should definitely pa they should pass the information along because you have cool stuff and uh, they should definitely follow you. This um this recording this is actually being recorded. I'm going to put it on Instagram TV. Okay. I'll also I'll also put it on Facebook. So I'll send you links okay. so that uh if you know anyone who's like your follower who would like to watch it okay. can watch it and. Uh, my friend Kim says it would go with her, her shell paintings that I did, because I have some oh, yeah. shell paintings that I did. Cool. Yeah, so it's cool. I love your work. It's super creative. I'm glad that we find, we got to meet, because um, I had heard about you at the Hartford Arts, but I don't think we had actually ever seen each other before. So, uh, wow. Yeah, I thought we did meet, but maybe we, maybe we didn't. I mean, we did. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of people in the Harvard Arts Association. <laughs> I know. I wasn't sure, but I knew you were, you know, in Harvard Arts, so everybody's, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the name was familiar. And and um, and um I know we but we both know Amy. Right. Amy was the one who, who recommended me, you to me. She was like, oh, you should get Kamari. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I'll get Kamari. Oh. <laughs> and so um, we, can, we can thank her. Yeah. And uh, and then next week we'll see Laura, and so right. that should be cool too. Yeah. All right. So and, um, well, and bug you all when Laura's on there. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely. Come on and bug us. It's great. The more the merrier. Right. So she says awesome work. So Thanks. awesome. We, we. I'm sorry. You were gonna say something? No, I was. I was just saying awesome. Sounds good. Great. All right. Well, thanks very much, and have a great have a great evening and a great week. Say so, thanks so much for being on with yeah. and sharing what's on your easel. My pleasure. Have a good one. Okay. You too. Take care. Bye bye.